Hiroshi, and I am in fourth grade. Today I am going to present to you my STEM showcase project, Guess the Bird. This project was inspired by my love for birding and my robotics after school program. Um, Guess the Bird is a really fun electronic board game in which the player has to guess the facts about the national bird and match it with its details. And it's really nice to play. So first things first, I'll show you how to play the game. First we look at the bird section. Technically there are four sections, namely the bird section, the name section, the country section, and the scientific section. We look at these pictures, and each picture has a number beneath them. So we look at which bird we want to select. Once you've chosen the bird, you select the number below it on the remote. For example, I'm going to choose the flamingo picture over here. And the flamingo's number is 4. So on the remote, I'm going to press 4. And then below it, an LED light lights up. The same is going to happen for the rest of the columns because each, each column has an LED light below it. So now we're moving on to names column. We have to guess the name of the bird. And the name of the bird is the flamingo. And the flamingo is number six on the names column. So we click six on our remote, and again, this lights up. Now we move on to the country section. So we have to guess which country the bird symbolizes. Flamingo is a national bird of the Bahamas, which is number two. So we click two on the remote, and this also lights up. Finally, we look at the scientific name section to see the bird's scientific name. The flamingo scientific name is Foodicopterus ruber, which is number 8 on the very bottom. So I press 8, and now the f all four of them have lit up. So now, to see if I'm correct, I have to press this arrow that's pointing up on the remote. And finally, I am correct because these two green lights are on. If I'm not correct, then these two red lights will turn on. To restart the game so that you can play it again, press 9 on the remote, so then everything will reset. So, now you might be wondering, how does this board work? Well, to know that, we have to go to the back of the board, and there you will see the setup. Now, here are the components of the setup. First up, we have the Arduino board, which is the most important of all these. Why? Because there is a microcontroller inside this that sends signals to the entire board so that it will know what to do. Then, we have an infrared receiver which receives signals from the remote. This is the input to the Arduino. And we have written a program which is loaded to the Arduino through a cable. So, based on these instructions, the Arduino will send current to the corresponding LEDs to make it lit. And so that is my project. Thank you.